He's a winner. Uh, he's a good leader. One of the best human beings I know. Uh, even a greater football player. Uh, I can't speak enough on uh, what he's meant to me. I'm just blessed to be be next to this man. You know, he's the goat. He is the greatest football player to ever play. You know, and I, I can tell my kids I play with that man. I'm just blessed. It's been amazing to have Brady come in and lead us to uh, the Super Bowl champs, man. Like, like there's nothing else to be said. Brady, there's nothing that he can't do. New team, new scheme, first year, going to the Super Bowl and winning it all. Like, he, he's the GOAT for sure. Yeah. By the way, I just want to mention Leonard Fournette, heck of a game. He'll be on the show with us tomorrow. I can't wait to talk to him. Uh, Dan Orlovsky's in the building. And, Dan, you know I have love for you, but I don't even know your wife, and I like her more than you. Everyone, please go look at Dan's Instagram, and you can thank me later. We will leave it at that solid video. I was so mad, Molly. Oh, I was so God. mad. Oh, my God. I know. Cry, baby. Curiosity All competitive. Peak. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but I can tell your wife something special. We'll leave it at that. Stephen A., Let's go back to the GOAT talk. Did Brady finally put an end to it, even in the future? It's all said and done. Brady's the GOAT. No one's ever going to take that away. I think so. I think so. He's going to go down as the most celebrated quarterback in the history of the National Football League. Um, and I think that, again, you know, I say it's over for Patrick Mahomes, and, and only in that regard. We all know that Patrick Mahomes is phenomenal. We know he will be back. There's no question in my mind that as long as he's healthy and he's at the quarterback position for the Kansas City Chiefs, they will win Super Bowl championships in the future. I sincerely doubt it'll reach seven, but more importantly than that, we're going to look at the fact that when he went against Brady, Brady took him out. Okay, Brady is going to end up in the MVP. Max just went on the soliloquy the previous segment with a lot of things he had to say about the two in comparison. And what I'm saying to Max is what Max has said on many occasions about everybody else, and you can validate this. It's not that your information is wrong. It's that at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to be thinking about that. Like, for example, you could have, you're a Giants fan, a Giants fan, die hard, and you didn't even remember that New England scored 14. You said 17. Right, it was 17 and I, 14. I'm just saying, yeah. you didn't even remember, but you remembered, of course, that the Giants beat the Patriots. I'm saying to you that when it comes to Patrick Mahomes against Tom Brady, we're going to remember that they got beat down. The particulars is going to escape a lot of people in the future. What we're going to remember is that Brady yeah. won and won Super Bowl MVP, mm -hmm. and Patrick Mahomes lost and lost convincingly, spent most of the day running for his life. And so when you look at it from that perspective, and it was a beat down that took place before the world, that is not something that gets glossed over. It's something that you can ultimately overcome in terms of people still appreciating your greatness and what you mean to the NFL and that you're the future face of the NFL or whatever. But even though Brady's won now four rings, I mean, I think he's won like three or four rings since the age of 37. Since the age yeah. of 37. He's won three since I made the cliff prediction that's a, that's a, out of the last five years. He has three. multiple but, after 40. That's, that's all a, I know. Don't bring that up. Don't no, lie I, to I, yourself. I, I, but, in the end, but in the end, what it comes down to is that <laughs> when you get beat down like that, <clears throat> and it's at the hands of Brady, people are going to remember that. Those other details, while definitely accurate, yeah. is not what folks what? outside of Matt Kell Max Kellerman and the Dan Olaskis of the world and others are going to recall. What you just said is real talk. That's how, that, as the kids say, I don't know if they're kids anymore, everyone says real talk, yeah. right? For, isn't yeah. that old? Is that, no, people, no one's not <laughs> saying anything real talk. I anymore. say it all the time. The point is, I'm old. The point is that's real talk. That's, that's actually what is going to happen. Yeah. Now. Do I think that means the, the door is shut? I don't. And let me tell you why. First of all, there could be a rematch next year. Or the year after the way Brady's going, right? He's, they're both on great teams. It could happen. And if Mahomes gets them back, if they blow them out, if the Bucs have problems on the offensive line next time, something like that, then, then it'll cancel out. Still, he'd have a big hill to climb. The fact of the matter is, you may be right, and he's not cashable. Whatever you want to say about the, the, the color line in baseball, the consensus in baseball is Babe Ruth's the greatest player who ever lived. He played in the teens and 20s of the last century. Mm -hmm. Sugar Ray Robinson's the greatest fighter who ever lived. He fought in the 40s and 50s. Michael Jordan, basketball, 80s and 90s, right? And they still stand. So it could be that Brady, we're just witnessing Brady, that's going to stand 50, 100 years from now. One thing I got to say, though, LeBron James. When LeBron James went to Miami, not two, not three, not four, he lost the first one to Dallas, they were favored, and he choked. He didn't want the ball in the fourth quarter. Four different fourth quarters. He abdicated that responsibility. They lost. The, sh the Jordan ship had sailed at that point. 
according to people like me. And I'll still say that. And yes, we're going to look at the score and say that's a blowout. But did Mahomes actually play poorly? Like, as I said, he hit two receivers in the face with the ball. He had, he had iconic plays in that game that we'll be looking at highlights, you know, decades from now that weren't even receptions. Like, we're going to look at him parallel to the ground throwing that ball like the Odell Beckham catch, and it <laughs> wasn't even a catch. No, it wasn't Mahomes the way LeBron didn't want it. It was the team around him. And I'll say this, LeBron's in the GOAT conversation. He's it. Look, you, you want to deny LeBron's in the GOAT conversation? There's a generation of people, it's like 50-50 almost, who think it's LeBron or Jordan. I may disagree with them, but to say LeBron didn't get back in it after he lost that first one against Dallas is not true. He's won five since then. No, LeBron's in it, and if LeBron got back in it, it's not impossible for Mahomes. All right, Dan, you played quarterback. Talk to us. I have no idea if Max actually answered the question. Uh, the conversation. I, how is did over. I not answer Tom the Brady's question? The goat. I Tom just Brady's said the goat. He's you just said does it put an end to all talk? I said caught. no. Is it, hmm? He will not be caught. First of all, Tom Brady's got seven now. He's got seven. All other active quarterbacks, including Drew, who's going to probably retire in a couple weeks, Drew Brees, they've got eight. So he's got one less than all of the other active quarterbacks in the NFL. He went to an organization, guys, that had the worst winning percentage in the history of the NFL and hadn't been to the playoffs in a dozen years and then just won the Super Bowl and kind of did it relatively easily. They had the hiccup in the season where they were poor for a five-week stretch, absolutely. But then he goes on the road and beats three Hall of Famers, three of the all-time greats. He goes on the road and beats Drew Brees. He goes on the road and beats Aaron Rodgers, and then he beats Patrick. We agree Patrick will more than likely be a Hall of Famer. I mean, this is, not only did Tom go win his seventh, Tom won his seventh and went on the greatest Super Bowl run a quarterback's ever been on. I mean, think about that. He threw for 50 touchdowns this year. At age 43, it's so hard to do what he had. It's so hard to link up with the coach and the organization and take the pay cut with the salary cap for that stretch that he did in New England. And then when the other team decides that they don't want to keep you per the price or support you per the play, have the opportunity to go somewhere like he did and completely reshape. I mean, think about the guys that scored last night. Leonard Fournette was cast off. But he wanted to go play with Tom Brady. A.B., now A.B. did a lot of it on his own. People didn't want. Here's a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth opportunity because he wanted to play with Tom Brady. Gronk came back, and I thought, no shot Gronk ever plays in the NFL again. Gronk came, comes back. Why? Because he wanted to play with Tom Brady. I mean, not only is the best ever, he's the greatest believer in ever, and he might be the most impactful ever. Uh, listen, I love Patrick. No one raves about Patrick more than me. The conversation is now over. He will not catch Tom Brady. It's unlikely that he will catch Tom Brady because it's like as though LeBron lost that series in Dallas to Michael Jordan. Then how would, like, you know, but if LeBron rematched Jordan and beat Max, him, he and, LeBron, him. and LeBron Dude, went I... on to win five or six championships, he would have a generation of people saying he's better than Jordan. It's not happening. And I give, let me throw a, a different kind of analogy there, Max. Um, in 2002, my man Will Packer, producer extraordinaire. I know, we Will. Know, huge, yeah. huge Tampa Bay fan and what have you. He just texted me a few minutes ago. Here's the deal. When you look at what, ten, what, think about what Tampa did in 2002. They go out, they go all in. They go out and they get John Gruden. All right? That's one parallel. Mm -hmm. Then they go and they beat the Eagles. I was at that game, the, the coldest game I've ever been to. I had to cover that game for the Philadelphia Inquirer. I, had, I looked like I was 300 Hope pounds. Hope you had a chinchilla. And the snorkels and everything that I had on. It was ridiculous, okay? All right, they finally beat the Eagles. They got over the hump. And more importantly, there were distractions along the way. If you recall, when they beat that one, that Super Bowl against the Raiders, Barrett Robbins, he sits up there. He's upset that the coach, Bill Callahan, you know, decided to, to game plan and go away from the power running game, which to him was his bread and butter. That's how he became a Pro Bowl center and what have you. He was distraught, depressed, leave the hotel, go out, get drunk, do drugs, prostitutes, all, all types of stuff. I mean, it was crazy what he did, and they couldn't find him. For the Super Bowl, okay? So the all-pro center was gone, all right? What happens this time around? Andy Reid with his son, that news comes up. That's percolating Super Bowl weeks. The parallels cannot be denied, but guess what we still remember? John Gruden 
had two winning seasons in his last six in his last six year in the six years in Tampa Bay, right? That was a Super Bowl championship. Right? That was a Super Bowl championship right? success. But John Gruden leaves, is in the Monday Night Football booth, and is relevant to this day because of what they were able to do with that one Super Bowl. And that's a coach. So can you imagine what this is going to do for Tom Brady, who had six rings before he walked right. in the yesterday's point is, game, hold on, hold on. and then to now do this? My I point mean, it's is, untouchable. My it's point untouchable. Is, my point is, you're right. That's why, in terms of it being unlikely, which is why I brought up Babe Ruth 100 years later, people still think he's the greatest. Nice. Probably was. Um, Sugar Ray Robinson, it's been 60, 70 years, he's still the greatest. And 60 or 70 years, he's still the greatest. And 60 or 70, that about Brady. But I will remind you, LeBron James was out of the conversation permanently after the loss in Dallas, and he got his way back in. Max? So, so if Mahomes winds up beating <laughs> Brady at some point <laughs> down right, the road Brady, and man. winds up with five Super Bowls right. or something why like why that, he'll why, be in the why, conversation. Why don't, why don't you just quit? Why don't you just quit first take right now? You've been raving about Jordan being the greatest, as yeah. have I. In other words, we don't Thank believe you. LeBron yeah. so that's why there. That point so why are you saying that? Yeah. We don't believe it? Because I'm addressing your point, your point, about what people will remember. You're saying it's disqualifying because he lost to him head-to-head -head and people will forget the details. But those same people have embraced LeBron Many of them. Most people, as the who, embrace, greatest who, ever most lived. people who embrace LeBron weren't born Max. when Jordan was playing. He'll be in the conversation Max, as second appreciate. to Brady, just like LeBron's in the conversation oh. as second to Michael Jordan. That's facts, Matt. Well, I, I, I would yeah. say this. Jordan, it, if Mahomes' peak is considered higher than Brady's as an individual performer, he doesn't need to catch him with numbers of Super Bowls. So long as he's competitive there, if he has a handful of Super Bowl wins, and at some point he's going to have to beat Brady no. head to head, yeah. Yeah. the fact that his peak will be perceived as higher could push him over the top. No. No. No, this is... Why not? Th in football, in team sports, when it comes to all-time greats, whether you like it or not, they are going to be measured at the quarterback position by how many Super Bowls they win. We talk about Aaron Rodgers all the time as one of the most talented ever, but one of the questions, if not the biggest question tied to him is, why has he only won one? No matter how the talent or how remarkable his statistics have been, that will be the same. Henry Bradshaw has four Max, Super Bowl appreciate... rings and a cannon for an arm. No one ever calls him the greatest of all time, and no one did back then either. Max, the only reason is because Terry Bradshaw respectfully played over, like, 40-plus years ago, bud. Like, a lot, a lot of people that talk about sports weren't alive then. But Johnny so, Unitas had that over, title for a long they were time. They eight-year-olds. Max, he will not catch Tom. Tom has seven Super Bowls. He has to win six more to even get into the conversation. Unlikely. In an uh, era where the salary cap is going to continue to be fought, no one is going to do what Tom did and take well, I mean, less. Tom might also Nobody's win another one. Nobody's going to do it I mean, the way that Tom did that. It, it, Let me wrap this up by saying this, because Tom Brady clearly loves proving people wrong, and Adam Schefter brought this up on Get Up, and it's a phenomenal point. Back in March when he was a free agent, 30 teams passed on him and thought their quarterback situation was better. Only two teams were interested. That was the Chargers and Tampa Bay. Clearly, Tampa making the right choice. We'll leave it there. Daniel will be back with us. When we come back, I'm looking